Hey everyone, this is Slimin. Today I'm partnering up with Celestron to bring you a video of the Celestron StarSense with a focus on installing, setting it up, aligning it, and calibrating the StarSense unit. Uh, this is a, a really neat product and so I hope if you watch today's video all the way through it will answer all of your questions that you have about using this device and setting it up. So there'll be two versions of this video. One version for using the Sky Portal app and the other for aligning using the hand controller. And that's what today's version is, is the hand controller version. So Schmidt Cascarine telescopes typically have two spots to mount accessories. Uh, one where your finder scope is and the other off to the right. This middle spot is for a, another rail, so if you want to mount a rail on top. So I'm going to um, put my star sense bracket right here. And I don't really see a need to have a finder scope if you're going to be using star sense, so I'm actually going to remove my finder scope too. And it's just a good general rule of thumb that when you install a new accessory that your telescope is in the vertical position just so in case something slips or falls you have a better chance of catching it before it falls. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove these now. And I mean you could even put your telescope on the floor and do this too. Okay, so I'm just going to install the large Schmidt Cassegrain bracket here. Line up those holes. There we go. And tighten that down. Just make sure that's straight. It's a little off. Alright, so I'm just going to tighten this down. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. Nice and easy, that simple, we're ready to uh, put on the star sense. All right, so now we just simply slip the star sense over the bracket and tighten down the thumb screws. Once you have the star sense on the telescope that you want it on, simply just plug in your auxiliary cable to the star sense and to the auxiliary port on your mount. And just the last step to initially installing your star sense is to remove your original hand controller and install the star sense hand controller. What's also really neat about the StarSense is it comes with a standard uh, Vixen style finder scope bracket. So if you want to use the StarSense on like a Newtonian or a refractor or any telescope that uses a standard bracket, you definitely can. Just remove my finder scope and it will pop right in and secure. So I'll show you how to, uh, how to, to swap them out too. So swapping the star sense from the large bracket to the small bracket is really easy. Uh, just take a four millimeter uh, hex wrench and loosen the bolt in the small bracket a little bit so it's loose. Okay. And then do the same thing on the bracket that the star sense is installed on. So this one's a little bit tighter. There we go. And then you'll know when it's loose enough when the star sense starts swinging in the bracket. Okay? So then the next thing you're going to do is just hold the star sense in place and undo the, the shroud to the sensor. Unscrew this. There we go. Here it comes.
And these will separate and just make sure these orange rings stay in place. Remove the star sense from that bracket. Insert the bracket. Looks like I need to loosen that a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. All right, we'll place the star sense in there. Get that nice and loose. And now that we have the bracket on, screw the shroud right back on. And it's a lot of threading. So, make sure that stays straight. Then once everything's nice and tight, I like to just loosen this a little bit more, get the star sense straight, and then tighten it back down. Get nice and tight and you swapped out the bracket to the small one. So although swapping brackets for the star sense is really easy and takes under two minutes, just realize that if you are swapping things around between telescopes, each time you do that, you're going to need to recalibrate the star sense unit. Uh, if you leave it on the same telescope and you calibrate it, each time you do a session, you're not gonna need to redo that step. But when you're swapping between them, you will need to recalibrate each time you do that. When using the star sense on an equatorial mount, there's three things you really need to do. Number one is you need to level your mount, so make sure you do that before you start. Otherwise, you're going to get some pretty erroneous results. Number two is you need to make sure that your mount is at the index marks, and currently mine is not, so I'm going to fix that right now. And lastly, you need a rough polar alignment. So for that, I use the polar scope for the Celestron Advanced VX, and it just needs to be rough, nothing amazing. If you don't have a polar scope, just look down the bore, and if you get Polaris, you know, nice in the middle or even close, that should be good enough. So just to reiterate, level your mount, make sure your mount is set to the index marks, and get a rough polar alignment of the mount. Using star sense with a altitude azimuth fork mount is not much different than an equatorial mount. Uh, you still need to swap out the hand controller, so make sure you do that. Um, and you really need to make sure that the index marks line up and that the OTA is pointed horizontally. So basically, the OTA is at the zero degree position. The Nexstar SE mount does not have clutches, so I'm powering up the telescope to do this. So now that those are, are lined up, everything's horizontal, mount is level, uh, uh, ready to use star sense essentially. Really, really easy. The last thing you need to know before you start aligning is if you intend on using the hand controller to align, make sure you use the hand controller for your whole session. Or if you intend on using the sky portal to align, make sure you use the sky portal app for your whole session. You can't align with the hand controller and then switch to the sky portal and keep that same alignment and vice versa. So just make sure you know which method you want to use before you start your alignment. So to calibrate the star sense, I'm going to be using a camera today in the telescope rather than a diagonal or an eyepiece and that's so I can show you what's going on while I calibrate it. Normally, you know, if you're just doing visual use or outreach, a diagonal with a low power eyepiece is totally fine. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to use a camera today so you can see what's going on. All right, we're ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit a line. And then you will select Star Sense Auto. Set telescope to index, okay. And we'll just let it do, let it do its thing here. I'm not doing anything, it's just uh, 
taking my mount across the sky, taking a picture, and uh, finding a bunch of stars. So now it's acquiring position, and when that's done slewing, it'll take an image, and then keep going. So I'm just going to let this uh, go here, and then I'll be back when it's done. It literally took about 120 seconds is all for me. Alignment complete, press enter to continue. Uh, the first thing that you want to do though is make sure that the star sense and the telescope are looking at the same thing. And this will improve your alignment accuracy considerably. So to begin the calibration process, you're going to want to go into the stars menu and find a fairly bright star. So I'm going to choose Deneb strictly because Vega is straight up and I don't want to cringe my neck looking at it. Um, so let's go to Deneb, slew over there. All right, so now we're on Deneb. So what we need to do now is go back all the way and select menu and then find star sense from the menu and hit enter and then hit calibrate so hit enter and then hit enter and it's going to say you know center star Deneb course centering so you're going to find Deneb and you're going to roughly get it in the center so now I'm going to switch over to the camera so you can see what I'm doing okay you can see star sense did a pretty good job Deneb is already in my field of view so I'm just going to adjust the um, directional keys on the hand controller till I get it about centered here. And I'm using Backyard EOS, which is a really great program for doing this. All right. Now I hit enter, and this is where we do the fine alignment. So your motor speed will slow down, and I'm on this reticle over on the right hand side I'm gonna try and get this just about perfect oh, a little bit too far there alright oh. keep letting it drift too much there we go, perfect. Now I hit align and it will say calibrate center processing image and then it will solve it and then it will find the new center, you press accept realign is required so during the calibration process, once you're done with your rough alignment and your fine alignment, it will say realign is acquired. Um, you don't want to move your telescope. It already knows where it's at. So just hit uh, enter and that will go back to the main menu. Hit align and then find star sense auto. Hit enter and it will start the alignment process over again and then when it's done you are all done you're set up and you're calibrated star sense is ready to go at that point if there's one big tip i could give you if you're a new star sense user and it's your first time make sure you take the cap off <laughs> the first time i used the star sense i was out there for 15 minutes and i could not get why everyone was raving about star sense you know, oh, it's supposed to be so fast and accurate. It was going around for 15 minutes. I thought, gee, this is going to burn my motors out. <laughs> I could not figure out what was going on. And then I looked, oh, it'd be great if your cap was off, wouldn't it? So big tip, <laughs> make sure you take off the cap. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there like me, not knowing why your star sense isn't working. So turned it off, power cycled it. I returned it to the index mount position took the cap off and then everything worked great. So moral of the story is it's, it's such an easy thing to do and you don't think about it, but yeah, take your cap off. All right, well that is how you set up, install, align, and calibrate 
a Celestron Star Sense. A super neat product, and what I really like the most about it isn't just how fast it auto aligns, but it's how accurate it is. If you take care to make sure everything is set up with your mount right to start, the Star Sense is spot on. So awesome product from Celestron. Thanks so much for watching and clear skies.